What makes me passionate about teaching is that I am so incredibly invested in the power of writing and in the power of students, who are the people I work with in classes, to do things that make the world a better place through writing. I used to get butterflies before I would teach in front of a classroom, and these weren't nervous butterflies, these were excited, uh, sort of excitement butterflies. And um, I find myself still getting them after, you know, 10 plus years of being in the classroom. The thing I like best about teaching is um, when I enter the classroom, uh, everything else goes to the background in my life and I'm, I'm in the moment. It's sort of a cliche, but I really like when students finally get something to really click with them. Um, after, especially after they've been struggling with it for a little while and something, and all of a sudden they'll have that aha moment, that, that one thing that just makes sense. And then all of, all of a sudden everything just sort of falls, in, falls into place. I feel like their eyes will widen a little bit, they'll sort of like open mouth and be like, whoa, and then it'll just make sense. People look at me and they ask me, when are you going to retire? And the answer is, you'll hear the sirens, because I love what I do because I love students. When I work, when I do my research, I listen to yoga and meditation music, largely because there aren't any distracting lyrics or singing or any kind of dialogue, um, and that helps me relax and concentrate. The music that I listen to the most when I study is music without words, so um, jazz is good, electronic is good. I sometimes listen to music. I really like classical music, but if I'm really tired, I tend to doze off. So I'll, I'll put something with like, uh, I'll put acoustics for like my favorite songs. I really like hip hop, so I'll do instrumental hip hop a lot. If I'm working on my own research, this is gonna sound so dorky, but a lot of times there's a there's a playlist on Spotify that's all like nature and rain sounds. So a lot of times I'll listen to that. But that's just work music. I do listen to fun music like in other contexts. <laughs> the thing that I like a lot about studying outside is that you're not the only one. A lot of people here, they sit out in the sun, they go to cafes. I like to sit at the arbor. Um, so you're there surrounded by other students and no one looks at you weirdly for having a book open because we're all here for the same purposes. My advice to give to my physics instructors particularly is don't be afraid to make it too hard. I think what makes a really great class session at UCSB is um, when the professors are uh, more easygoing and um, try, to late, try to relate to students more than just actually teaching. I believe that a professor is there to aid us in learning. I don't really believe that they're there to quote unquote teach us. I believe that they should present the material in a way that allows us to learn the material and then also provide us with other resources for us to learn it because we're not going to be able to learn what we need to learn in class like there's way too much information to learn just simply in class. A really funny class that I have taken was Ocean and Atmosphere with Professor Dickey. And he would um, bring in his cute dogs to class and he would also wear a t-shirt that had his dog on it and he would tell us stories about how he would dress up his dogs and put them in competitions. And it made it more interesting and you want to pay more attention to the class because you're like in a good mood because of it. A lot of students have needs that uh, we don't, we're not going to see on an average basis, on a normal basis, especially when I'm teaching classes of 300 students. Um, but with the dogs, it turned out that a lot of students wanted to come meet me, meet the dogs, and then I could learn more about what their needs were, give them advice. I think teaching is important because it's central to a healthy democratic culture and society and that's why I take my job so seriously uh, in the classroom. It's not just an occupation, it's not just a thing to do for money, um, but I, I, I see it as serving a larger um, social uh, good. Even though we always say that, oh, as long as we're reaching one student, you know, but I, and I agree with that, but one just isn't enough, <laughs> we need more. And the more students we wake up, you know, the more people in their lives will wake up as well. I think it kind of goes back to setting a good example and showing that you care about everybody in that classroom, no matter what their origins are, what their belief system is, uh, all across the board. And I think if you get that across to everyone, then you, you've done a lot. <music>